Hey guys, what's up? It's both your one and only, and today we're gonna to be talking about Destiny Child. First things first, I'm probably not gonna be streaming today because my my tooth is acting up, so yeah. It really depends on how I feel later on today. But I wanted to talk a little bit about Destiny Child because I I've been waiting for this game to go global for like the longest amount of time. And it's finally getting a global Jesus Christ about time. We waited like a whole year at least. No, longer than a year, I believe. But it finally it's getting global. Um So what was I about to say? I was about to say something else with that, but the one thing I'm really hoping hoping they don't do is like over censor the game. Even if they do censor it, at least give us the skin choice to uncensor it. Like, there are certain people who like, who have like preferences. Some people like to censor the thing. Some people don't really care about censorship. We just want like the best looking skins. And some of the censor skins definitely look meh. I'm just really hoping you guys give us at least two options to have uncensored and censored version of the skins. Because that's what a couple of other games have done. Like uh, Dragon Heroes. Dragon Heroes has done that and it worked out totally fine but if they do give us censorship just give us the uncensored skin as well that's at least what i'm hoping for but i'm not sure if they are or not right now it is gonna we'll see during the launch that's all i'm hoping they don't do but i have played a little bit of this game um i haven't played like a whole bunch of it i try to keep myself from going too much into the korean version yeah, I tried to keep myself back a little bit. I used to like go in and do the whole English patch thing for a while, but then I stopped just because I didn't want to like get too far only for them to release a global version. And it turns out that I made the right choice, thank God. But I can give you guys a few preferences of a few strong characters that would be pretty good for starting off and maybe a little bit good for a later game. At least starting off the mid, at least I could say that. So I'm just gonna go around like showing you guys which ones. Um, but one thing I can say, I was met with a very difficult choice, might I add, when I was doing my um, rolls. You guys know I'm not a huge fan of re-rolling, so this is my first roll. And we've been smacked in the face with a choice here. Um. <laughs> Two of the most recommended units, I can definitely tell you, hands down, are really good. I met with Matt and Dana. I, I don't know. I'm leaning more to round, down the, the route of Dana. Just because she's really, really good as a tank. As for Matt, she has a revive and constant heal for the whole team. So that's another issue I'm going through. I'm I'm leaning more towards Dana though. Yeah, I might I'm actually go Dana. But these two highly highly recommended. Once you get one of them, I wouldn't even recommend re-rolling. Um I do have their skills here cuz I was just looking at them seeing what they did just making sure they didn't like full on change it. So first we're going to look at uh Dana her leader, she gives uh, skill defense to allies. Her auto attacks then deals 86 damage. Her tapping, so instead of like swiping, you can just tap and it does this instead. So, deals damage to one target and gains immunity for six seconds. So I'm not really sure if that translates to the whole party or if that translates to just her at the moment not sure if they changed that or anything so but this could also be like old news to the point where it hasn't been updated yet or anything that could also be a thing yeah last updated was august the 17th yeah so this could probably be like changed by now they could she could probably be like buffed or reworked or something so don't take like everything on here into consideration well, take it with a grain of salt is what I should say. No, this whole shield thing, I do know is still there with uh, swiping her. The HP shield 
really good and increases defense. That's going to be very perfect for like survivability for your team. And then you got her drive where she attacks three random enemies and increased skill drive of defense characters. Not bad. And then we have Matt. Her leader skills, she has debuff evasion for the whole team, which is actually really nice. Because you can just be like, oh, no, don't want that debuff. Get off me. <laughs> it's actually pretty good for um, a support. Then you have her autos dealing 90 damage. Then you have her dealing damage to one target and removing stuns and petri petrified enemies. Oh, allies. <laughs> yeah, words. But yeah, later in the game, stunning becomes like a huge problem. Like world bosses do it too. Sometimes it really depends on the world boss they bring. Getting rid of this off a of tap is really nice. Okay. Then you have the slide where she constant heals all your allies for 20 seconds. That's actually really good. And then you have the revive off her drive. So pretty much reviving and healing a te your whole team afterwards. Like a really, really good healer. Just running constant heals up here and down here. At the revive, she goes straight into healing. This is why these two are really good because they get rid of debuffs. Like, that would be troublesome, like later on in the game. But I'm personally gonna go Dana right now. Hopefully, I can get Matt, Matt in the future. I'm hoping. But that's what we're gonna go with. Oh god, no. It it broke. What happened? I was about to say, Kane, please. Don't don't let my <laughs> don't let it go in vain. Let's see what we get for the last roll. Why not? Oh yeah. Apparently there is a way to re-roll the site as well. I guess I'll teach you guys how to do that. So what you would do is you would push share. You go down here, push share, share. And as you can see, you can cancel this. You don't have to actually share it on your Facebook. Then I guess you would just refresh the page. It would get this little error, go back. And yeah, <laughs> I learned this from Raz, apparently. They, apparently people figured out how to re-roll the site now. <laughs> so now you can just go into your next roles until you get the best characters. Also, there is no sound effects. And and I met with the choice again. Okay, dude, chill <laughs> game. I'm, I'm, go I'm going with this, okay? But yeah, I'm going to leave it here. Um, yeah, there's pretty much a few things I wanted to talk about Destiny Child. I'm really hoping they don't over censor it, but that is that and mm, I really hope they don't but let me go ahead and choose Dana here uh where are the character what characters what the hell do I have to re-roll it to the okay hold on hold on hold on hold on uh Mars is another decent character for like starting I go back. Okay, there we go. So, great character to have, especially with DPS. He hits hard as hell. It's not even a joke how hard he hits. I'd say, personally, the best attacker right now to actually receive. Really good because she speeds up your um, skill charge. We got her from like an event, I'm pretty sure. It was like um, login. Do you, yeah, it was pretty much like a week quest. You guys know how weeks work where you have the first day do all these missions, then the second day do all these missions, third day do all these missions. That was pretty much a week mission. And once you did all those, you unlocked this character. That's one event they had in the Korean version. Um, this character right here, good for PvP, uh, blocks heals, 
it can be good in certain parts of PvE when there's like a really annoying stage where there's just a bunch of enemies healing. I've had issues with enemies healing too and just pretty much over healing. That's, let's just say that and just replacing all of my damage. Now who else? Well, you guys already know these two are really good supports to have on the tank. Uh, Eve can be pretty decent too. I'm not going to go through like every last character and what they can do because I don't remember like every single thing they can do. Thanos sucks. Don't don't even don't even keep him. I mean, he looks cool, but he he's fucking terrible. Anywho, <laughs> this character is also good for um, PvP. A few of these characters I've gotten. This one I've actually played the game with and she's been pretty helpful as a support she removes um well she cleans and heals as well and she she's pretty much really decent to be honest not the best healer but decent so i would so if you ever get her she'll be pretty good as a healer if you guys chose like a dps or a tank and you get summon summon her i recommend using her she's actually not half bad this character, dear God, is just a monster. I love her, and I would not mind having her. She's really good in PvP, though. That's where she shines. PvE, a little bit okay, because she has, like, what was it? Attack down or defense down? I think it was attack down she had for enemies. Pantheon, I know, is um, actually pretty decent. AI is a really good tank. Hermes, I know, um, cleanses and gives attack buffs, I think. Don't quote me on most of this stuff because I'm still trying to remember what each character did. Like I said, Mars is actually pretty good. <sighs> this character, on the other hand, amazing in every last way, especially for PvP. She's mostly PvP focused. Like she just, <laughs> she was insane in PvP. It was like ridiculous of how much she confused enemies. But I would actually recommend her if you're going into PvP or if you just like her skin because her skin is actually pretty nice. Uh, I just, pref just prefer the more revealing one, you know, for those you Korean players who have actually played Korean version, you know what it's you know what I'm talking about, okay? You know what I'm talking about. I just personally don't like this look. And what's up with the empty slots here? I have no idea. But I also like Hades. Hades is actually pretty decent as well. The only reason I like Hades the most is because of the skin that you get with Hades. It's a gender changing skin to where it's, it's female and it's quite the um, looker. <laughs> I'm really hoping they don't censor it because that, that was the best looking skin to me. Hands down, Hades had the best looking skin. To me, that is. I'm surprised they didn't put the trap into this little sunnable roster. <laughs> But yeah, those are pretty much a little bit of recommendations I can recommendations I can give. A little bit of them. This character is also pretty good for PvP as well. Um, some of the other characters I don't really know all that well because I never really used them or heard too much about them. But yeah, most of them are from like experience. But yeah, I can't wait for this game to go global. It's going to be really fun. I'm definitely going to be streaming it. Uh, I don't know about first impressions since I've already played the game, you know. Not really sure, but I might still go for it, like, after the stream. I want to do, like, the launch day stream. I'm not sure about... Well, it actually really depends on what time it releases, though. But, yeah. For some reason, also, this isn't, like, the... Destiny Child um, Global when you're seeing this. Uh, this is a Korean version. For some reason, Destiny Child does not pop up anymore for a register. 
yeah as you can see not popping up and I can show you guys on um, wait where is oh good I wonder if they took it down wait where is it there it is it's no longer on register from what I see looking at every last single one of them and it has not popped up. I'm not sure if it's the emulator I'm on or anything. I'm gonna try and change over to Nox and we're gonna see if that works. Uh, give me a second. Hopefully that's not the case. I'm really hoping it's not because then that's just gonna make me think of a few things that are probably going on. Probably took it down for some odd reason. Not too sure. I'm at it. I should look at some of these other games that I haven't played yet. Because there's a lot of open games I haven't played yet that I need to put on my list. I'm just very picky at this point. <laughs> just really very picky about which games I want to play now. Which I need to get out of being picky because I'm only playing it for like 20 to 30 minutes. Might as well give it a try, you know? Not like it's gonna kill me or anything. And obviously I have a preference different from other people's. I could be like, oh, this game sucks. But then you guys could be like, oh, this game's awesome. <laughs> you know, things like that. That's why I try to keep too much of my own personal <laughs> feel about the game out of it. I try. Does it work? Nah, no, it doesn't. It does not, actually. <laughs> it really does not. But, alright, this is almost up. We're gonna see if... Oh, god, no. It... Ignore it for now. Wait, is... I was about to say, is me ignoring that just basically destroyed this thing? You better not. God damn it, go, go back over. The only reason I don't use Nox like too often anymore is just because it, it kind of uses up too much RAM. For me at least. Get out of here. God, Sudorica, no, go away. Not right now. My god, I have even more updates. I haven't played it in like a while. I don't think it will pop up if I put it in here either, right? By the way, some people say Destiny's Child is not Destiny's Child, it's Destiny Child. I don't, I don't know how people got Destiny's out of it. J just a little bit of a correction there. And no, it seems like Destiny Child has been removed. Huh? I'm sure pre-register still works, right? They didn't, like, take everything off, right? I don't know. That's That was just weird to me that I couldn't find it anywhere for some odd reason. But, yeah. Okay, then. But, yeah, also, I have been playing more of Mon Research, if you guys want to add me. <laughs> But I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Uh, that's all the little things I wanted to talk about on uh, Destiny Child. To be honest, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, it. Hopefully, just devs don't censor it, like, majorly. Give us the option to uncensor. Please. <laughs> that would be lovely before you guys release it. But I doubt that we will get that opportunity, which will be unfortunate. Um, other people have already said that they are probably going to skip it if it is too censored. Like, too censored? I, I didn't say, like, normal censor. If they say it's, like, too censored, they're probably going to skip it. Uh, I'm not sure about that. For, as for me, if it's too censored, I'm going to go to the Korean version and just stay on there then. And just be like, yeah, global. Not, not a huge fan of the skins, but... That's just me personally. 
I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out. Swear it's gonna get better real soon. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're gonna make it soon. Just keep pushing through. You're what you got to lose. You're what you got to lose. You're what you got to lose. Just keep pushing through. Cause what you got to lose.